amen my sister friends this uh, morning we have a, fr a friend a brother who comes all the way from kenya he has connected from kenya in baraten he is the um he's heading there the um student affairs and uh, he's none other than dr ray Kesses, my friend my pastor you are welcome to this platform i don't want to take much of your time and take a very or do a very long introduction uh, the lord bless you the lord be with you as you share the word with us this morning over to you my pastor over to you, my pastor thank you so much elder mbinga it is a pleasure seeing you it's a pleasure hearing you it's a pleasure again connecting with the family in south africa we want to thank god it is 6 a.m in kenya i know it's 5 a.m there you are struggling to wake up but we want to thank god so much uh, thank you for every one of you who have joined this prayer ministry and i will share briefly about the power of prayer father in heaven make this message simple and clear in jesus name amen i am convinced my brothers and sisters that the power of prayer is in secret communion with god that the power of prayer is in secret communion with God. That's the point I want to share with you, that the power of prayer is in secret communion with God. That if you are secretly communing with God, then you've got the power of prayer. You see, friends, there is group prayer, like these prayer ministry, virtual prayer ministry that you have in South Africa. And I want to thank you for this ministry. But this is a group prayer. Then there is a family prayer where every family comes together to pray. Pray. Then there is a public prayer where we go for worship. Group prayer and family prayer will mean nothing if members are not engaged in secret communion. Before you go to church to pray with other the keyword the power of prayer is not in the manner of praying it doesn't become powerful because you knelt it doesn't become powerful because you cried the power of prayer is not in the one who is praying but the one being prayed to the power of prayer is in secret communion with god I will invite you to Mount Carmel, where Elijah has just gathered the prophets of Baal, and they are praying for rain that had disappeared for three and a half years. And after praying, the prophets of Baal couldn't bring the rain. And Elijah prayed, and fire came from heaven, consumed whatever was there. And now Elijah wants to pray for rain, and the Bible tells us that he retreats to a secret place. First Kings chapter 18, verse 41 and 42, the Bible says, and Elijah said to Ahab, go and eat for the sound of heavy rain, verse 42. So Ahab went off to eat and drink, but Elijah climbed the top of Mount Carmel away from the crowd and he bent down to the ground and put his face between his knees and prayed. Elijah prayed in secret, after a major public event, don't be satisfied with the public prayer. Elijah had just prayed in public and fire had come from heaven, but for rain, he retreated to a more secret place and prayed. Secret communion with God is where the power is. In Mark chapter 1, verse 35, Mark chapter 1, verse 35, the Bible tells us that very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. Jesus went to a private place. 
Jesus went to a secret place. Jesus went to have secret communion with God. Even Jesus, who was a 100% God and 100% man, found it necessary to engage in secret communion with God as the power of his ministry. My brothers and sisters, we need secret communion with God. It is easy to engage in public prayer because in public people will see how I pray. They will hear how I pray. They will know that I read Ellen G. White by the phrases I put in the prayer. They will know I use King James version of the Bible by the phrases that I put in the prayer. That public prayer can easily be a show off instead of a speaking to God. And so secret communion with God is where in all honesty we engage with the creator. Jesus prayed daily in secret. Look, when Jesus was in the garden of Gethsemane, what did he do? When you read Luke chapter 22, verse 41, after taking his disciples to that garden to pray, Jesus walked away into secrecy so that he can pray. That when Jesus was in the garden of Gethsemane, Jesus walks away from his disciples at the garden of Gethsemane in order to pray. Jesus found it necessary to engage in secret communion with God. Luke chapter 22 verse 41. So secret communion with God is where the power is, my brothers and sisters. When you read Esther chapter 4 verse 15 and 16, after Esther and Mordecai have had the exchange, Esther tells Mordecai, let's engage in fasting and praying. The king didn't know about it. The non-Jews didn't know about it. It was a secret of the Jews and they fasted for three days. And when she approached the king, she approached the king after having engaged in secret communion. And that is how she succeeded. You see, ladies and gentlemen, Nebuchadnezzar appears and he says that he has a, had a dream and that he doesn't remember what he dreamt. And he tells the people to tell him the dream and they can't do it. He promises to kill them. But Daniel says, give us time. And what time did they need? They needed time to have secret communion with God. Daniel would have done a show off in front of the king and say, oh, king, our God is better. Just close your eyes, I pray. Mighty God of heaven, king of kings and lord of lords, before this monarch Nebuchadnezzar, can you grant me the dream? Can you grant me the interpretation at this very moment so that this man here, this heathen man, can know that you are God, can know that there is no other God God other than you, hallelujah, in Jesus' name I pray. He would have done that. But he knew that that tone of voice, he knew that that manner of praying may have a degree of public presentation and not actually dealing with God. And Daniel retreats, Daniel chapter 2, verse 17 to 19. He calls his friend Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and secretly they prayed for the king's dream to be revealed to them. And in the name of Jesus, it was revealed. I'm here to tell you, my brothers and sisters, that secret communion with God is where the power is. It is if it is secret, if it is between you and God only. If you give a testimony about your secret prayer, it is no longer secret. You have lost it. It must be so secret that you will die and leave this world without anyone ever knowing how you used to pray. That if they ever know it, they will keep it secret because they discover you didn't want anyone to know. Jesus would sneak out of the house where he was with the disciples and go to pray. Sneak out. Yet these were disciples he was teaching how to do ministry, but he sneaked away from them to go and pray because there is power in secret communion with God. There is a genuineness in your life when you open up to God in secret, not where you want people to know you are praying secretly, but so secret that nobody else gets to know. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 6, Jesus said that when you pray, go into your room. These are the words of Jesus. When you pray, go into your room. Close the door 
and pray to your father who is unseen. Then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Jesus said, when you pray, go in secret. Go in secret. When you pray, go in secret. When you pray, go in secret. Jesus taught that prayer should be secret. Secret between a person and God. Without secret communion with God, we have not prayed. Before you go to any group prayer, have secret communion with God. Before you go to any family prayer, have secret communion with God. Before you go to any public worship prayer, have secret communion with God. I'm here to tell you in the name of Jesus that secret communion with God, this is where the power of prayer is. Let's pray. Father in heaven, Thank you so much for this privilege. It's 5 a.m. in South Africa and 6 a.m. in Kenya. And we have gathered online to pray and to affirm our faith in you. May each and every one of us have a secret closet that nobody even in the family will ever know about. Secret communion with God before we appear in any group, before we appear in any family, before we appear in any public worship, that we will have secret communion with you. This is our prayer. As we pray that you may answer all the prayers that will follow. As we pray that you will grant us a good day. As we pray that you will perform a miracle for the sick, for the broke, for, for, for those who are seeking jobs, for those who are in trouble, for those facing challenges. It's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen and amen.